All right. You know, folks, I had this. I had this idea that's been keeping around in my head for quite some time. And only rewatching the uh, Dark Stalkers. The Dark Stalkers um, retrospective actually gave me context of what was actually going on. Because I actually understood it. Like, I saw the scene from what happened, but I just didn't understand it because I never played Dark Stalkers before. But, I have two what ifs. But, this what if is going to be about Donovan and Anita. Now, for those of you that don't know about, for those of you that do not know about Donovan and Anita, they're, well, Donovan is like a damn peer, which means he's part human, part vampire. Not like Angel now, because Angel, the vampire with a soul, but that's either here or there. So, Donovan wants to stop the, uh, wants to stop some of the, wants to stop the, uh, dark, dark suckers, so he can control his, uh, his uh, vampire bloodlust. He finds a little girl called Anita, and they he basically takes care takes care of her. Anita is basically Anita, Anita is hinted at having some sort of power. They don't really go into in depth about it, and I doubt we'll ever really get a thing because Dark Suckers is kind of from from a from a standpoint. Dark Suckers is kind of dead. And I hate that shit. But it is what it is. <sighs> so. Well, in Donovan's ending, he uh, basically, after killing all the other Dark Suckers, he basically loses himself. But I'm thinking, what if he doesn't kill the Dark Suckers, right? May he, may he thinks he destroys a few of them. But what if his what if his cursed blood, while fighting, uh, say let's say Dimitri, right? And you know while he fights Dimitri, that's when it starts kicking off because Dimitri is a vampire. So so Donovan starts changing. Then he doesn't kill all the dark siders. He only tried to fight Dimitri because Dimitri was close. And, but, uh, Donovan being the guy who, he first tries to exit, tries to resist the transformation. Because he'd rather hold on to his humanity. Until, after he fights Dimitri and almost kills him, so he can't hold him, he can't hold the transformation back any longer. He transforms. And to what we know is D, but when he transforms, he I need a cry seeing seeing the person who she well I would say like she sees Donovan as a father figure. So seeing him transform into the very thing he's try he was trying to kill is a little much for her. But Donovan was the last of his strength. Holds back and tells Anita to run. I can't keep you safe anymore, Anita. You have to run. I can't. I can't control my mind anymore. Please. Please. Go. And then he starts to transform. Anita, after a while, hides, hides her. Uh, I would say Anita. Hides, hides her. Uh, she hides her stuff for a while, and when she's a teenager, she's been trying to look at all sorts of spells. Now this is like a, this. We're not getting into the what if. I'm just trying to give you guys more, you know, more uh, stuff to actually understand, and so I can set the scene up. Because I'm actually gonna talk about a what if, you know. What if that's based upon one of the uh, things that happened in the Dark Starker series? Does Donovan does Donovan kill uh, 
does Donovan kill Anita, or does something else happen? And it leads into another, uh, another gigantic what if project I'm planning to do. And it was supposed to come out for Halloween, but I've been so busy with other stuff, and that's what, that was gonna be like your big surprise. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna have to work on it periodically. Some stuff you're gonna find out next Halloween. So, um, but yeah, basically, Anita and Donovan. So, Anita has been traveling the world, looking at various, look at, looking at various sorcery books to try and see if she can fix Donovan. While Donovan has retro, retrograde amnesia, only, meaning he can only remember stuff for like 30, 30 seconds or 30 minutes, 30 seconds, I think. Well, 30, 30 minutes, I'm going to say 30 minutes. And he has been, you know, taking down the Dark Stalkers one by one. He hasn't, again, he hasn't killed them, but he destroys them to the point where they're almost dead anyway. Why do I leave, why am I leaving the Dark Stalkers alive? Oh, I have my reasons. I have my reasons. But we're not getting into that yet. So, so, Anita has been tracking Donovan during, during his shift in, shift into D. And while he's, he sees, for a minute, she doesn't even recognize Donovan for a minute, but then she realizes it, it is him. Donovan, well, D at this point, he... Basically, for a minute, he he can't even, like, he right now is straight up vampire. He's got a straight up bloodlust. He is not really thinking too, he is not really, him. he's not himself anymore. He hasn't been himself in, like, years. But he, when he sees him, when he sees Anita, he all, like he starts to attack, he starts to attack and lunge at her. He doesn't really know why, but he want, but he feels like he has to attack her. Or, may, may as he was I wants to embrace her. And Nita screams, screams out Donovan's name. Donovan, please, I'm here to help you. Donovan looks. Well, D looks. Donovan gains a, regains a little bit of his composure for a minute, peeking through the monster that he's become. He goes, "Anita, please. I know that. I know from the way you, I see you, you want to stop me." And she, and she looks at him. It says, no, Donovan, I want to help you. I want to, I want to bring you back. I want to bring you out of the darkness and into the light again. Please, let me help you. The things I've done, Anita. The things I've done. I don't deserve. I don't deserve to be in the light again. I'm not even who I was anymore. I I can't go on like this. I can't go on like this. Please. End me. I need it. Nita does simply that. But D does not but D actually but Donovan actually Donovan actually Kinda of lights it out. Whatever I do to you, just know it isn't me. It isn't me. It's not me. And a fight ensues. Now I don't really know what Anita's powers are, so I can't really make a good fight scene. But I would say she's using mostly magic to hold him back. Because she's hesitating trying to kill him because Donovan really just said, Anita, you have to kill me. 
So, Anita's really trying to fight back, trying to really, trying to really give it her all against Donovan. And D, you know, D is D, the new, well, the new Donovan. It's not really. Is putting up a fight, but every but every few minutes before he rears up for another attack, he stopped. It's like Donovan is really trying to pull him back so he can get so this can be over. With one hit at Donovan's neck, he's slain. Anita, saddened. Sand yet resolute. Sand that he could that she can bring back Donovan, but happy she was able to free him. Walks off. But not before burying him. But she walks off at a grave that says Donovan. A hero, a slayer of monsters. And also also father figure. And yeah, that's how. That's pretty much it. Um, I kind of want to do this because again, I actually knew, I actually saw that scene because because when Donovan and freaking Anita fight in the actual game, everything fades to black, so it leaves it very ambiguous. And this is my take. I feel like Anita, I feel like Donovan really for a minute, like when he sees Anita, when he really starts to really notice that that's Anita, he you know the human side of him is really pulling, you know, pulling against his vampiric side, trying to literally say, you know, Anita, you're going to have to destroy me because there is no other way. And I feel like when I look at Anita's, when I look at Anita's, like, teenage design, I feel like she spent uh, mostly half of her life trying to basically figure out a way to either rid Donovan of his vampiric side or not even try to rid it, or find a, or try to find a way to control it. But, but it's, but it's kind of useless. And because Dark Soccer doesn't really have happy endings, I really felt like this would be good enough. And oh yes, I'm going to do another. What I'm going to do another what if on Bugsy Prime, and in the Dark Soccer universe, and it's not a pretty story, because I've always said that Prime has a bestial form, and uh, that's going to come into play. But it's also, in a way, I'm shipping, I'm shipping uh, Prime and X together for this story. It's like a one-off. It's like. Prime in the Dark Soccer universe, an alternate version of him who never met, who never met any of the Enigma, and he just, but it, he let his beast form kind of take over, and X is the one that has to basically put him down, to the behest of base, man, you know what, I'm going to just put it down, I'm just going to, I'm going to do it, because the other one was a little too short. So basically, so basically, Prime, Bugsy, Bugsy Prime, or as he's most commonly known, Bugsy, Bugsy John Kuro, was working, was working to try and contain his bestial form. A bestial form that can the chaos lord can have a bestial form. Mostly, it's taken out of them when they're little, when they're kids, lordlings. But Prime held on to his because it has helped him out of a lot of scrapes the past the past years. Until one night, he loses complete control. Not injur injuring both Har. Injuring both Har and Ansukamaru, his brothers, who tried to really to try and appeal to his better nature, 
saying things like, Bro, this isn't you! This isn't you! You're not some monster! And man who you men who saves the multiverse on a daily occasion on a, on a daily basis you would never want to hurt any of us. Prime after claw swiping both of them, leaving them with big claw marks on their chest. He runs away. Because he knew he knew what he just did. X Eggs, the vampire he saved many years ago from her, from her va vampiric father. And no, it's not Dimitri. <laughs> Continuing. Now, since this is like since this Bugsy Prime is in the Dark Shocking universe, he basically fights a just different pairs of. It goes to Pyron. And, I mean, it goes to everybody in the Dark Sucker 1, Dark Sucker Dark 2, and then, for some reason, un unbeknown, unknown, unknown to the audience, when Jetta starts to do his, do his shit in the Dark Sucker series, and, he, and, and pro this version of Bugsy Prime, or as I like to call him, Bestial Bugs, Actually, as it goes to fight Jetta, he's fought Jetta before, but he wasn't as strong as he is now. He goes, "Well, well, well. If it isn't, if it isn't Bugsy John Kurtle, but it looks like you're not even yourself anymore. You have teeth, claws." You look more wolf-like. Well, I get to keep, you know, for all the times you, tr for all the times you defeated me. Now I get to defeat you. And Jed does his little fucking laugh. But Prime looks, and the realization that he's fighting Jedha. The realization that he's fighting Jedha while. Uh, X has been just following him, watching him, but not really trying to do anything of the sort to try and trying to do any of the sort to try and confront him because he does. She does confront. She does confront bestial bugs during this time, but knowing that she really can't do anything to stop him out of it, she watches him actually confront Jetta. And for a minute, he fights him as normal. He fights him as his bestial style with his claw, with his slashes, bites, and and punches. I never really talked about his fighting style. His fighting style is a lot more wild and untamed. Think, think Blanca if like Blanca had rabies. But as Jetta, but as Jetta, but none of these were really working on Jetta until Jetta actually threw, threw him into the sea, this cesspit of souls. And the souls seem to devout the souls, ironic as it is, because Prime's no, because Bugsy Prime is known to actually suck souls out of people. Yeah, yeah, mainline Prime can actually do this, but they devour him. But they don't really kill him. Bugsy Prime comes back up. Hair. Hair. One side black, one side white. His eyes. One's red, one's yellow. Well, 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 Jenna. Seems that. Seems your little. Seems your little soul bath has freaking brought me back to normal. You, on the other hand. I've been, since I'm here anyway, I've been waiting to finally destroy you. Not, a, not as Bugsy Prime, as something different, something new. Call me him. Call me the Weeper. The Chaos Blade turns into a deadly, 
blood red scythe. So, shall we? Shall we? Shall I finish what I've started? Pro Re the Re the Reaper used formerly known as Bugsy Prime attacks Jenna with a few well placed swipes. Jenna is using every attack he has in his arsenal. Tyrelli push him back to knock him back to do anything he can to get to get this new version of Bugsy Prime off of him. Prime Prime gets his arms and legs his arms and legs cut. But Prime simply laughs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really, really think this is gonna stop me? His arms and legs pulled back, pulled back by some mix, some mysterious force. Do you? What even are you anymore? I'm a, I'm a reaper. I can't control my bestial side. But you putting me in that soul bath, it kind of made, it kind of made, you kind of brought my humanity back, little as that is. So I can actually think while being in my bestial form. So, the one thing I never wanted to become, I'd become it. And really, I mean, I like it, but I got something for you. Scythe Revolution! The scythe, the the scythe that formerly used to be the used to be both the demon blade and the chaos blade, lunges forth at at Jetta, at at Jetta. Slowly, the scythe grows teeth and a mouth, and uses that uses those serrated teeth to not only chop Jetta in half, but totally destroy his little universe he created. Jetta goes. You know I'll come back. I always do. You think that this is the end? Know this, Reaper. I will come, and I will destroy everything you love. Mark my words. Mark my words. After that, Prime literally goes. Prime literally howls in anguish. Because he isn't a Chaos Lord anymore. He doesn't know what he is. He's a Reaper. Yet, he's got his bestial form and some of his Chaos Lord powers. Even though he won, he kneels down, defeated. defeated. Not knowing what he needs to do, just standing still. Now, in this, now this is his ending, but like, let's say if X was a playable character, you get more into the story of what happens. The fight with the fight with Jettiso happens with Prime becoming the Reaper, but when Prime is like emotion motionless after what he's just done and what he turned into. X literally goes literally goes and hugs him. She says Boss I know this happened to you please come home. Unsukamaru Unsukamaru and Harima need you. The world needs you. She stops for a minute and says in a very low voice, I need you. I'm not the same person I used to be, X. You know this. I don't even know what I am. Part of, part of me is still the same. My eyes, my arms, my legs. 
I don't know what I am anymore. You are, you are what you've always been. A hero. Prime, I mean, but Bugsy Prime, the Bugsy Prime literally shaken. Those words. She comforts him and says, This is no different. I will never leave your side. You know this. Prime looks looks at her like he used to and says, you, yeah, how can you still look at me like, like you still see the old me? The one that used to make jokes, the one that didn't smell, the one that used to do everything with a smile. How? How can you see me the same way? She looks, no matter what form you take, no matter what you are, I will always be by your side. No matter what, you know this. Prime literally tears up and goes, X, I, she put she puts it, she puts her finger to his lips and says, I know, I know. The embrace. And then the credits roll. Yeah, but uh, we're going to do more what is on a theoretical dark stalkers, uh, a theoretical dark stalkers game. And again, their stories are going to be intertwined. This takes place... I think after the last Darkstalkers game that came out, probably even more than that, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're going to we're gonna check in with a lot of the Darkstalker characters. But I just wanted to wet my feet with this. Oh yeah, Prime and X, and this is like the only timeline where Prime and X actually end up together. Any other time, it doesn't happen. But this, ha but this is like an extenuating thing. X, X had, X, all X really wanted to do was bring him home and try to figure out how to fix him. But seeing what he, seeing what he was doing to Jetta, well, that, well, that kind of put. To, she was like, if there's no way I can truly bring him back to the way he was, I will. I will, I will care for him like this. But yeah, this is the only time they end up together. Only time. <laughs> do they, do they get married? Do they have kids? Well, uh, we're gonna get into the theoretical Dark Suckers game some other time, and we'll actually explore that. And we'll also explore shit with Anita after what she had to do to Donovan. So we're gonna. So I'm gonna go. This is a Boxtober video, and I just felt the need to do it. Oh yeah, I got some stuff from Felicia, Lord, Lord Raptor, and a few other characters. But I'm gonna save that for later. I know we don't got a lot until Halloween, but let's just say these Dark Soccer What Ifs are gonna come when you least expect it. See you later. Peace.